Welcome back, guys, to Beamer and... I mean, fuck, poor man's feet shop. Look at this nice little collection here. I'm going to put you guys up on my apparatus on my chest. This is why I want to talk about this right here. Sorry, you guys are up on my apparatus shaking. Did you guys know I coined the term apparatus? Yeah, I made, up, I made it up. I invented it. Now see this here car? This here car, I got paid to put an engine in it for a buddy of mine. Now yes, that was six years ago, 10 years ago, and I got this truck here on trade. You know, this 1982 Fox body, I mean Dodge truck. You know, 15 year old kid can do an engine swap. <clears throat> The moody stuff I got stacked on it. It did have rims and tires when it came, but I borrowed them for something else. Oh, shit. I forgot. I never put the engine in it. Man, I hope I didn't sell that. My friend's going to be so pissed if I sold, sold his engine for lucky stripe money. Holy shit. Let's check his car out, guys. Now, this has the lush lush Corinthian leather and never mind that some gorilla tape will fix that up don't worry about the brust keep telling you guys I'm a body man I'm an expert in my field I taught at Lincoln Technical Institute now I know these windows are open but I'll get some I'll get some plexiglass and I'll bend it over this whole door here, both these doors, and we'll tape it on up here. I keep telling you guys, I'm an expert at doing this stuff. Now, I got to get this car moved. I know I've been saying it for like six years, seven years. I got to get the car moved. But it's just so hard for me to move and do things since... That 20 rollover accident that happened seven months ago. You know, concussions can last for a year, for two years. <sighs> Sorry, guys, about my breathing. <sighs> not trying to ear rape you guys or nothing. It's just it's hard for me to get out of breath. I mean, I'll gladly fight somebody, but I can't catch my breath long enough to do anything. I mean, look at that leather. Now this carpet, this carpet, I want to talk about this carpet. So I replaced this carpet back in 1963 when my buddy bought it new. Wait, wrong car, you guys. Sorry, old age. That was that car, and it was 1982. Oh, yeah. This car is awesome, you guys. Awesome. I love this car so much. This is my baby. Oh, yeah. Winning. And in that truck there, I had a buddy come over a couple weeks ago you guys remember my last my video back see i had a buddy right and he came over and he wired in an ati coil or module sorry i'm an idiot i don't know how things work and he came over and wired it for me because i don't know how to wire things you guys know i like to wire things to a toggle switch i don't think i could have wired that to a toggle switch so he came over and did that again the engine in this was built by fat man restorations in beautiful Fort Wayne, Ohio. Yes, I am poor, but I send my stuff out to have the engines rebuilt. I can't do it myself. Or cars rebuilt. Basically, we don't do anything here besides walk around and talk about our cars. I would show you guys some work, but I don't know how to work. I think I robbed his wheels off for something else. Or I sold it for crack money i'm not sure hell i probably sold it for cat food 
Then I probably traded back for cat piss. This car probably ran four seconds and a quarter mile. Now, y'all see these trees here? See these trees? Came out the other day, acting all tough, man. Cussing out Duke Energy. And we're on my property. Now, I know where there's a pole. Sorry, I burped. That's fat, unhealthy men have to burp. So, you know Duke Energy, right? They don't have the right of way to where the poles are or nothing. So I came out and told them they need to not be fucking throwing sawdust all over my car, even though the clear coat's peeling. And I act like a tough guy and I backed up really quick. Said they better have a good lawyer. I don't know why my lawyer ain't taking me serious. I mean, it's not like I haven't tried suing a bunch of people. By the way, did you guys know that my mom bought me this collection and then I stole from her? And I pled guilty to it, and then I went on Facebook saying that I had $5,000 to blow on lawyer fees to win. I would show you guys paper, but that would prove them bastards over at Poor Man's Speed Shop right. And I don't want that. Even though they've been right on everything. I mean, Jack and Austin, I can't stop thinking about them. They're so sexy. I mean, I lay up lay up late at night trying to think of ways to mention them, but they're too stupid to realize it. Even though I know they're smarter than me. When you're Mako, them guys always, dude. They always do a great reaction to my videos. And I just love them so much. Them guys are fucking awesome. But, oh, yeah, winning. And then I, I say I paid $5,000 for pretty much every car I got. But... In reality, we all know I don't have $5,000 to blow on anything. Now, my boy does, but he buys me enough. I think I should start laying off and stop having him buy things for me. He takes really good care of, of his 61-year-old man-child dad. Well, if he goes around, show sure you got some of the stuff up front. We'll talk about these at a later date because we like talking here. This mock Hunt one. Mach none, I mean. I mean, Dodge D-150. The 81 Malibu, which I paid five thousand dollars to go to Florida in that one too. It used to have a palm tree on the side. Then it was rebuilt back in 1992 when it was brand new. And forward, that lawnmower, we gotta dig it out. And this bicycle over here, man, man, I got this bicycle for a song. See this bike here? Never mind the trash and debris. I'll have my boy come clean it up. This bike here, I got for free. For zero dollars. This thing is worth, I'm not joking, having that GT badge. I know it's just a bicycle now, but it's a rare bicycle. See GT? That means Grand Tour. I mean, Grand Touring. Now, this thing here is worth $10,000. I got it for free. And all the kitty cats you see right here, I will not sell them. I will let them inbreed. No. You know everybody's jealous of us. You guys know that, right? Everybody's jealous of us. They're mad because they can't be us. Even though we got 2,500 subscribers. And we only get... On, on average, 200 views per video. I know half our subscribers don't watch these guys, so I don't know who would want to be us. Ah, fuck that car. There's the monster. Now, see, this right here is a $10,000 beast the way it sets. Yes, it has rust, but see, it's got these flashy, flashy, flashy wheels on it. My mock, my mock nun over here. See, this car here, you guys, I was chasing this car for 30 years out in the town to the west of us. It's like the old Wild West over there, by the way. That's what we call it, Old West. But I was chasing this car for 30 fucking years. This car 
It's a very rare 318, three speed on the floor. Perfect daily driver. Those options make this car a cool million dollar car, restored. Now, I can't remember exactly how I got it. I know I was chasing it for 30 years, but I don't wanna say my boy bought it for me because I prove my point that he buys everything for me. This thing, I came outside one day and it sprouted out of the ground. Look at that damn mouse there, it did. Damn, them bread cats ain't doing their job. <sighs> now look at this. Look at that. See the three speed right there? And never mind the rust. I know I replaced floor pans this like 10 times. It's because of the sheet metal. Definitely not the way I keep my cars. Now, in the garage here, you see this trailer here? See this truck here, I mean? Now, I got to move this truck. Now, I know I'll start it back up, and I can get my car my car out of the garage, but I got a 10-second rare 1926 Charger. Challenger. See, it's both of them. It means it's extra fast. Never mind the well job on the frame rails, you guys. We don't look at that stuff. Now, I would walk you in there and show you, but it's like... Stacked in the hill. Just remember, it's a rare 1926 Charger. 18, 18 second, I mean, 10 second quarter mile car. More like 30 minutes. But hey, I'll tell you guys one thing. Now, I know I've been saying I'm going to get out of the garage for like 15 years. But we're going to get there. It's just I'm old and I can't move very easily. Now, see these tires here? Oh, you guys keep talking about tires. I don't understand. These tires are like brand new. You know, these things were on a pro street, pro outlaw series car. I made up the pro outlaw thing, but these were on a drag car. I promise. And then with these, it gets back to the mismatched wheels. You know, what are you going to do when you have a small bolt pattern rear end and a big bolt pattern disc brake setup? Oh, wait. I mean, I can't afford disc brakes, so drum setup. You put you some 63 Valiant wheel, rear wheels on the back, mismatch, with their two tires. And you take a 15. Now, I know you can buy an 8.8 .8 and cut it down and make it the right length, but who wants to do that? That's too much work for us here. Now, I would paint the car, but I like the patina. You know, all the patina. Now, I know Austin over at Poor Man's Speed Shop, he's got one he's getting ready to paint. So, if you guys want to go see him paint the car, go check that out. I'm all buff here. Go talk on PlayStation Live to the 13-year-old. That's Austin's cousin I play video games with. I mean, I don't block his other cousin. But he's, I still play with his one. 61-year-old man playing with 13-year-olds. I'm a tough guy, though. I talk tough on there. Don't forget to go check out. Hang on, guys. Whew. <laughs> Don't forget to go check out Mako and Poor Man Speed Shop. I love them guys. Them guys are some sexy guys. Go check them out. I can't stop thinking about them. They live in my head. See you guys next time here on Dreamer and uh, Poor Man Speed Shop.